Hi, I'm Bern Sargas, and welcome to another edition of Inside OSU. With me is Jason Kirksey, who is our head of diversity efforts here at Oklahoma State University. And we're here in a remarkable vehicle. Uh, this, is, uh, this vehicle is sponsored by uh, the national CEOs to promote inclusion and diversity. And it's a check your blind spots. Uh, it, uh, it seeks to reveal to you your unconscious bias so that we can all be more inclusive. Uh, in our day-to-day -day lives. Uh, tell us about your efforts here at Oklahoma State, uh, Jason. Well, we have certainly uh, had a strong commitment uh, in large part thanks to the great leadership that you and the rest of the administration has provided. And uh, we thought that this tour bus would be an opportunity to uh, bring an innovative and uh, very engaging uh, experience to the campus community and so this just helps further uh, our commitment to diversity and inclusion here at Oklahoma State so we're very excited to uh, have them here today and uh, for uh, members of the campus community to go through it. Well it's a real privilege because we're one of 100 spots in the United States uh, to uh, that this uh, vehicle makes a stop and with me now is Ryan Mosier, who is in charge of this here on this this here vehicle, as we say in Oklahoma. Yeah. Ryan. Well, thanks for having us here. You so. bet. So you're traveling all over the country with this. <clears throat> yeah. So this is the CEO Action Check Your Blind Spots tour, and we're traveling all over the country in 2019 to let people really explore their unconscious biases, and those are the. Uh, the judgments we make about people's uh, abilities without even really realizing it. So we let people come aboard the bus, check out our uh, cutting edge technology that we have here and better educate themselves. And then after they do that, we ask them to take the I Act On pledge, which is just a pledge saying that they'll be more diverse and inclusive in their own personal life every day. I just took it, by the way. Great. It, it's not hard. Not hard at all. It's, you know, it's right here. We have it on the tablet that people can do, and uh, if you can't come out to the bus here today at OSU, you can go online to CEOaction.com, and you can do it right there. It only takes a couple minutes. Fantastic. Well, how about showing us around a little bit? Absolutely. Step right back here. So the first, uh, first one we're going to do is face yourself, face reality, and you're going to go okay. stand right on that green yeah. circle there. Okay. And uh, yeah, you take the bias. Just because I follow the teachings of my religion doesn't mean I automatically dislike or don't get along with people of other religions or respect their freedom of worship. That's a good point. Right. I choose to wear the hijab oh, and dress modestly. I'm not forced to do so by anyone. It's my choice. I don't mind if you ask me about my religion in the spirit of wanting to learn about Islam. But it can be frustrating when I'm asked to denounce every act of violence in the region when it has nothing to do with what I believe in personally. Okay, let's see some more. This so is there the, are about five about different of, th of those videos. That's religious diversity and right. inclusion. So there's about five different ones that talk about disability, um, race, uh, dis uh, disability. So different things like that that you don't really think about. And watching those you're just kind of like, oh, I didn't really think about that. And some of them, like, it, it's one of the most effective ones we have. Everyone comes down like, oh, that just gave me goosebumps. It really made me think about um, preconceived notions and, and unconscious biases that I have. That's so. right. That's right. And, and to understand how other people feel and have the empathy to understand. Exactly. Their, and it, and it, really, it really touches on those things so people can understand it better. Well, so. now, is there another one over here we can yeah. take a look at? So this is our global networks. And uh, I'll take the mic from you. You All can right. go ahead. And it just everyone thinks they're, they're really diverse in their own personal network. So this kind of puts it to the test. Self-aware of the diversity of our networks. Read the following questions. Oh, this could be tough. All right, I am. I guess I'm Caucasian. And yeah, it'll just automatically advance for you. Oh, so yeah, the majority no. of your family. The majority of my family is Caucasian yeah, European. Um, my significant other is, yep, yeah, same thing. My best friend is, hmm. Is my best friend. <laughs> We won't, we won't say any I'm names. Say <laughs> All right. My neighbors are, well, here, here at Oklahoma State, they're everything. Can you pick Yeah, you can one? hit other. Yeah. Okay, what's the, the last, the last person, person you had dinner had with? Dinner with. Well, it's my, well, actually, it was 
It, it was other. Last night, we had more All right. than one race there. People in my closest school work social circle. The people in my closest school circle. Oh, I'd say probably okay. Uh, my social, social media. media circle. Yeah. Social media. Well, that'd be other. That's everything. Most of the people in my high school graduating class were, uh, with the most of them were Caucasian. Most of my healthcare professionals are, I've got, kind of got Asians and Muslims. My mentor is, whoa, mentor. Man, that's other too. I think I have mentors. <laughs> my boss or professor is, yeah, they're sure Caucasian. If you choose to worship, the people you worship with are their other. The actors in the last movie I watched are, <clears throat> that was other, Green Book. The musicians I listen to are mostly, that's all over the map too, other. All right, so now we see this is kind of, each, uh, each different choice you had is a different color. And so, you know, you had about 50-50 with a little bit of other, but a lot of people would be like, oh, I'm really diverse. And then they look and it's not that diverse because the truth is that most of our, our networks are pretty much people that are just like us, yeah. whether it be, you know, a Caucasian male having Caucasian friends or a black person having black friends. It, you know, it's everyone really tends to uh, go towards, you know, what they are. Yeah. So sure. with this, it kind of shows that and lets people see it right in front of them. So then we go on to the next screen, and this is from the tour so far, and then it'll throw yours right up on there. So that's kind of cool. That shows. Okay, the, yeah, it's very cool. Network. Wow, that's neat. Well, it's just really using uh, virtual reality and and uh, artificial intelligence to yeah. make the point. Right, and we've got, we actually have some virtual reality on the bus too. That's hard to show like this, but people should come on down and check it out. It's 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 really really interesting. So. That's great. Yeah, we do. We need everybody to do that. Thank you very much, Thank Ryan. Very Thanks much for, for coming coming to, coming to Oklahoma State All University. I right. have got a couple of students over here. We're gonna check out here. Hi, Chase. How are you, President Chase Hargis? Levins, and we got Kate Lunn. Kirksey, yes, right? Sir. Thank Great. you for having now, us. You all have made the tour here? Yes. Yes. That's what would you think? It was very eye-opening to see the different biases that are both implicit, um, but also the ones that we just don't pick up on. Yeah. And it was really cool to see how pe other people's experiences really affect them. So Yeah, yeah that my dad used to always say walk a mile in the other guy's shoes and then you'll have a better yes. idea what's Yes, going on. for sure. And I think that's exactly what this has done. It really puts you in the perspective of other individuals and allows you to see what they're seeing and really feel what they're feeling. And I think that's what we need. Um, if we all just open our eyes to what everyone else is feeling then we're able to better create a, a community that's more welcoming for everyone. Boy, it couldn't be better. Couldn't be better said. That's exactly right. Well, thanks for coming through, and tell everybody, all your friends to come through. Absolutely, oh, for sure. It's fantastic. Will. Okay, great. Well, there. Uh, I know you're going to have another live shot later on. Uh, later on today, uh, but uh, I, I think if you will come by here, you're going to be amazed at this incredible experience, and I think we'll all be better for it. Well, that's another edition of Inside OSU. We'll see you next time.